volume. So this is what's going on when you're breathing in and out. So this one right here, it's just going normal like this. So skip that big part. The one that just goes normal is called your tidal volume. And that's measuring if I was just had a little tube and I was breathing just like a normal breathing rate. So that's your tidal volume. So if I have a blank, this is blank and it says like ID number two and it's just this little wave right here, that's your tidal volume. Tidal volume. So that's really like when you're at rest. So when you're sitting in front of the TV breathing, that's what's going on. Um, this is all through two, you said like three. Like it's measured through two. You can include mm -hmm. the big part, right? Do what? You can include the big? No, not the big part. So tidal volume is just at rest. But then say I go, and I breathe in super big, that's what this big spike is. So your inspira uh, inspiratory reserve volume, or IRV. So inspiration, inspiratory, that's just breathing as deep as I can. So that's gonna shoot, go up. And then when you have, if you wanna know your whole capacity, your inspiratory capacity, that's when you add your, like your extra breathing in, the reserve volume plus your normal tidal volume. This is where people get really mixed up on the graph. I'm not sure why. So if you think about it conceptually, you can see this arrow right here is adding this part plus this part mm -hmm. to get your total capacity, like your, not total capacity, but your inspiratory capacity. So that's how much I physically can breathe in all together. Dang it, I would my wrong resting. spot. Cool. And then if you go the other way, I'm talking and I go, and I try to breathe all everything out. This is this little yeah. guy right here. So your expiratory reserve volume. So if you want to know what your total functional residual capacity is, you would just do, oh sorry, I didn't do the residual volume yet. So your residual volume is something you always have in your lungs at all times. No matter how hard you breathe out or force air out, you will still always have a little bit amount of air left in your lungs to keep them functional and elevated. Yeah. It's number four. Just kidding. 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 Yeah, so expiratory reserve volume is just when you breathe out really heavily. That's not part of your tidal volume. Everything, like from having a big deep breath to everything goes out. Yeah, but it's really just they stop. They do it only from where your tidal volume. So like I'm sitting here and I just that's my tidal volume expiration and <laughs> my expiratory. Does okay. that make sense? Yes. Yeah. I'm do just it again. expiratory. <laughs> Expiratory exiting. Yeah, and it's your reserve volume, so that's all you have left to like breathe out. Except technically not really, because you have a residual volume that's always there. You can't breathe it out no matter what. So that's why it's all the way down here. So the last two, your vital capacity is measuring everything from how much you can breathe out to how much you can breathe in. So you add, add all of these up. And then your TLC, total lung capacity, is everything. So you have, from the how much you can breathe in, including all of your residual volume that's still in there. So that explains one through five. If you want to add a number six, TLC, it's not on here, but I think it's important to know if you just add them all up, it's called your total lung capacity. I can't.